A smile changes everything, not just in your own life, but in the life of everyone who sees or hears your smile. Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and I'm so glad you joined me here today for the Let's Get Metaphysical show. And let's just go ahead and jump right in. Here's a song that's all about why you want to smile. What does it mean? It's a golden thread Weaving the tapestry of life It's the harmony of a song Connecting heart to heart A smile says so simply, you are seen, you are loved just as you are, and I'm so glad you're here. Come close to me, my dear, let us share only love and joy, speak only with kindness. It's connecting heart to heart And even in times of dreary darkness You can always find the light You can always find the light No, it's always there You will always, in always see what expect to see and you will always and always see what you accept to be possible always in always because you create the blinders limit in your vision The thing is, the smile connects you to other people. A smile connects you to yourself, to your inner self, to who you really are. Whatever you're doing right now, just sit up straight, stand up straight, and just smile. Smiling means your whole body. It's not just what you're doing with your lips or your cheeks, or your eyes, and your eyebrows go up, and your forehead goes up. But your whole body is now free, and it's taking in oxygen, and that's your life force. Smiles change everything in your world. More than that, smile changes others in your world. When you want to meet somebody, what's the first thing you do? You look at them, and you smile. And you smile when you say hi. 
You do, don't you? If you're going to be grumpy, they're not going to be interested in looking back at you or greeting you or getting to know you. A smile opens you to possibilities that you may have overlooked before because you let yourself be curled up, shy, afraid. By the way, an aside here, people talk about the fact that they're introverts. Introvert absolutely does not mean shy. Shy is shy. Being afraid of people, being afraid to look at people, being afraid for people to see you. That's shy. That's not introvert. Introverted means you need time alone to recoup your energy. An extrovert needs to be with other people to get charged. An introvert, and I know, because I've been an introvert all my life. I love to be out there. I love to be with people. I love to teach live classes. But then I'll get drained, and I just need to be alone and quiet to recoup my energy. So please stop telling people you're an introvert, because in fact, you're shy. How are you going to get over being shy? You're going to smile at people. I spent a lot of my life being shy. And my mom would introduce me as a shy kid. Other people introduced me as somebody who was shy. Guess what I did? Self-fulfilling prophecy. I was shy until one day I realized, man, I'm missing out on a lot of fun relationships, on a lot of fun activities. This shy stuff, that's not feeling good. That's not nourishing my spirit. That's when I started smiling. Now, when somebody's shy, the telltale sign is they can't meet you eye to eye. And when you're smiling, they'll look away. That's somebody who's shy. But you know what? Keep smiling anyway. You don't have to say anything. Certainly don't pressure them. But if you smile at somebody often enough, they'll know you're safe. Well, no, it's okay to look you in your eye. And maybe eventually they'll smile back at you. Speaking of somebody who was shy and decided they want to be shy anymore and choosing to smile until it became an automatic habit. I'm coming from a place of fact, from experience, when I tell you the smile opens your world to all possibilities all the things you don't even know are possible for you because you maybe because of others telling you that but you are believing it you're taking it on why would you take on negative limiting experiences from other people in your environment they're not you and they're not living your life and you only you get to choose your life and your um, you alone create the blinders that limit your vision and you alone create that narrow lens your blinders of what you can see in your world and you're missing all the stuff that's out there beyond it's a lot there and in all ways, every way possible, you can experience the possibilities, the potentialities that you were not, until now, open to knowing, to feeling, to seeing, tasting, touching, smelling. It's just a thought ran through my head. I eat differently. I guess I always have. And I've had people look at what I was eating and saying it was weird. Well, that's the same stuff that 40, 50 years ago people were telling me. 
boy, you eat weird, or that's yucky what you're eating. And then every place you go, every grocery store, the mainstream grocery stores, the restaurants, every place eats like I do. Mostly. There's some things I won't go near, but mostly. The way I eat, the way I always ate, was never weird. It's what felt good. It's what kept me and my family healthy. So do what feels right to you. And if other people think you're weird, you know what? You're just ahead of your time. You're open to infinite possibilities. You see the potentials out there that everybody else is just missing. Thank you again for joining me here today. I'm Reverend Elvian. This is the Let's Get Metaphysical show. Join our Facebook group. Make a friend. Ask questions. Get some extras that I put in there along with the show. But you know what? You can also listen to or watch any episode of our show. And you can also easily leave a review. I appreciate that because you know why? The way I find podcasts to listen to is I check out reviews. So if you leave a review, if you are enjoying, if you're getting something out of today or one of the other episodes, we have lots of episodes. Go back in to listen to some more because you just might find a whole bunch of stuff that, oh, yeah, you think that way too. You just didn't realize it was okay to think that way. And take advantage of the gift from Audible. Get to download the audiobook of your choice and look around and there's some great stuff in there you won't find anyplace else. I have books on entertainment. I have books on science. I have books on philosophy. I love to read. I like to hold the book in my hand. I like to listen to the book. I'm pretty much always listening to an audio book or a magazine or a podcast. I'm like a nonstop learner and that's not new. I've been that way all my life. So thank goodness it's easy to do that now with mp3 players, not with phones. Just be careful how much time you're spending within the 5G energy. Anyway, remember to enjoy, that's capital I N. Capital J O I, every moment, it's nothing in your life. It's happening out there. Mm -hmm. Nothing. It's all happening. Inside, there. I look forward to being here with you next time.